Hey guys, so as you may know, unlike the iPhone and iPad, the iPod Touch does not have any Face ID or Touch ID, so every time you want to log into it, you have to type in the password manually, but there is actually a way to get Face ID on the iPod Touch. And I'll be using an iPhone for this tutorial, but everything I show will work on the iPod Touch. So first off, what you want to do is go to Settings, and go down to General. Next, press on About, and make sure that you're running any version of iOS 12. If you're running a version above iOS 12, then there is actually a way you could downgrade. I made a video on how to do that, the link for it will be in the description. But once you've downgraded, what you want to do is go to Safari. And next, search for ipa-apps.me. And scroll down until you find Uncover version 8.0.2. And press on Get. And if it opens a separate ad, just close out of it. And just keep on trying until it works and eventually it'll take you to this page and over here press on skip ad over and over again until it works and eventually it'll ask you to install uncover just go ahead and press on install and for some reason it showed it for me multiple times just press on install multiple times if it does happen to you but eventually it should install once it's downloaded, you could try opening it, but it's going to say that the developer is untrusted. So what you want to do is open settings. Next, go back and press on general and go down to device management and press on the top and press on trust, press on trust again. And now the app will be trusted, so you'll be able to open it. Next, press on jailbreak, and this step is actually the hardest because it takes anywhere from a few minutes to a full hour, but what you want to do is just do it over and over again until it works, and eventually it'll go through all 32 steps, and if there's an ad that pops up, just press on the X at the top left corner, and eventually it'll say that the jailbreak is completed and that there were no errors that occurred, so what you want to do is press on OK, and what it's going to do is it's going to restart the phone, and once you log back on, you'll see that there's now two new apps on the phone. And the app that you want to select is Cydia. Next, press on Sources. And press on the Edit button. And press on the Add. And over here, type in julioverne.github.io. Make sure to spell it correctly because the name is a bit complicated. But once you're done, press on Add Source and this will take a little while to load but once it's fully loaded press on return to Cydia and next you'll see that there's the Julio Verne source added so what you want to do is search for appellancy and select appellancy iOS 11 and press on install and tap on confirm and now just wait for this to load and press on restart springboard and now your iPhone will restart. And once it's restarted, just log back in. And you'll see that there's a new app called Appellancy. So what you want to do is open it. And next, what you want to do is press on the plus icon at the top right corner. And type in whatever you want for the name. And once you've typed it in, press on OK. And tap on the name. Press on OK. And next, press on Start. And when it asks you for your camera, press on OK and make sure to set it up four times in four different places so that the lighting is different every single time and it's able to scan your face whenever the lighting is different. So now, if I turn off my device, you can see that it'll be able to scan my face with Face ID.